Hey everybody! Today we're going to be doing this colorful bread swirly effect. So if you want to know how to make this, stay tuned. Okay, this is all the equipment and the ingredients that you're going to need to make your colorful swirl bread. Um, obviously you're going to need your oven and then you're going to need just a spoon to do some stirring. You're going to need a packet of dry yeast. This is the Red Star. You come in a pack of three at the store. You're going to need a measuring cup. A fourth of a cup should do just fine. Then you're going to need some milk. I already pre-measured mine. Uh, I use almond milk original. If you get almond milk, make sure it's not the vanilla flavor because that's not what you want in there. Or you can just use regular dairy milk. Uh, just get some unsalted butter in the stick form. Make sure you have that left out for a little bit so that it's a little bit softer, not so hard in the fridge. You're going to need your color. So I just got this little color assorted food color dye. Uh, you're going to make sure you want, you know, all the colors that you do. If you only want like red and yellow, you can just get red and yellow. So it's up to you which colors you want. And then you're going to need some sort of spray to put into your pan so your bread doesn't stick. So I just have Pam baking. You're going to need some salt. So my little salt shaker here. And then you're going to need some sugar. This is uh, sugar in the raw. It's vegan sugar. And I just have this lying around. So that's what I'm using. But you can use regular sugar if you want. Uh, you're going to need a bread pan. And then just some flour. This is all purpose flour. It's bleached. So just white flour. Uh, you can use bread flour if you want, but this is just cheaper, so I bought that. And then I have a KitchenAid mixer, so you just need your bowl, and if you're going to use this, make sure you have the dough hook on there. If not, you can just use your hands and uh, your spoon down there to go ahead and make your dough. It might just be a little bit harder on you, but that's all the things that you need to go ahead and make your colorful swirly bread. So, let's get started. Okay. First, we're going to put our yeast in our bowl. Let that get all in there. And then, then we're going to take our measuring cup and we're going to go ahead and fill that up with some water. You want about a cup. Okay, so we've added a cup of warm water in there, so you're going to want to let that sit for about oh, five minutes or so, just so it gets nice and bubbly. Alright? Okay, now we've got the yeast and the warm water in our bowl there. So now we're going to add in one and a half tablespoons or five teaspoons of butter that's been melted in the microwave, a teaspoon of salt, a fourth a cup of milk, and five teaspoons of sugar. Again, yours will look different if you have the regular sugar. So, let's go ahead and add in those ingredients. Put our butter in there. So we're going to take our milk. Now our sugar. And last but not least, our salt. Okay, now we're going to add two cups of flour to our bowl. Okay, so as you can see, we get all that in there. Now we're going to go ahead and start mixing. So if you have your mixer, put that down there. And then just turn it on. It's going to make some noise. I'll explain first. You just want to put it on low first and then you can let it speed up after a minute. And then what you're going to do is about every minute you're going to add in the rest of your flour little by little until you have it all in. Okay, so once that's done I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so once your dough is ready, you're going to take it out and it should look something like this. It's going to be a little bit tacky. 
and still you can still feel a little bit of flour. You're going to want to put it on a nice floured surface. I'm just using my countertop to spread some flour around there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to knead this. You're going to knead it with your hands. You're just going to go mm -hmm, for about 10 minutes. Make sure that you have your hands with flour. So just dust your hands with flour. Then you're just going to knead it for about 10 minutes. Okay? And once that's done, we'll come right back. Okay, so we have our dough that's been kneaded for about 10 minutes. And you're going to have this little ball. What you're going to want to do is take a bowl, a large bowl like this, take your spray, your baking uh, spray, spray that in there so that it doesn't get all stuck to the bowl. And then just stick that in there. And then you're going to cover it up, set it in a warm place. I'm going to be using my oven. So just set that there, cover it up with a towel, and we're going to let that rise for about an hour. Okay, so. Our bread, we've let it rise for about one hour. This is what you're going to have now. If you're going to want to do the swirl method, it depends on how many colors you want. I'm just going to do it in two different colors. So what you're going to want to do is take your bread and just rip it in half. Okay, and I'm doing this with one hand, so. And again, just take your bread, rip it in half, one to one side, one to the other. Now, let's get our food coloring. Okay, here are the two colors I'm going to be using for our food coloring. So the first color I'm going to use is this red. So just pop the top off and then squeeze down your dough and make a little bit of a bowl or a dent here into your dough. I'm just going to take your food coloring and put a few dots in there. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to knead the dough. Now you might get pretty red hands from this. But you're just going to go ahead and knead. And eventually that red color is going to come through. So I'm going to keep adding and kneading until I get a nice red color that I like. Okay, so as you can see we went ahead and we rolled out our red piece of dough a little bit longer horizontally. Now what we're going to do is take our blue, stick that on top of the red, and we're going to roll that right on top of the red so it's perfectly in line with it. So when that's done, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, as you can see, we've pretty much rolled out the blue. Now what you're going to want to do is take your blue and you're going to want to pull that out so it's right in line with the red and then just pinch the edges. This is going to help it stay together a little bit better. So just roll it out or stretch it out I should say and again just kind of go along and pinch your edges that way it's going to stay together a little bit better okay so now as you can see we have the blue on top of the red so now what we're going to do is just we're just going to take it and we're just going to roll it Take that, roll it all the way till you get to the very edge. And then we're going to take our pan, take your whole mixture, and just set that in your pan. If you want, you can put the crease side down. That way it doesn't come apart. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and let this rise for another hour. So we'll be back when that's done. Okay, our bread has risen for another hour. As you can see, it's nice and high above the pan. So we're just going to go ahead and stick that into our oven. And that's about 400 degrees. We're going to put that for 30 minutes, around 30 minutes. And then I'll let you guys see when it's done. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it comes out. And here's a little piece that I just cut. So it has a really nice swirl effect to it. This is something, again, just fun that you can do with the kids at home. Send them to school with a sandwich with bread like this. And maybe it'll just brighten up their day a little bit. So hopefully you guys like the tutorial. And have a great day.